Yeah, I got a test setup of the camp. Kind of uh, what I kind of plan on doing on my trip. Things aren't quite organized yet, but close. The bed, most important part. We're gonna have a portable shower that we can just hook up on a tree or wherever. I actually have two of them. And if I ever have uh, shore power, we got a heater. I think it's cool at night. Lots of uh, water storage. Got this shelter. It's meant for SUVs, vans, pickup trucks. Instead of tying it, I gabardine it on to my roof rack, which will hold a lot better. Because when the wind comes along, you don't want to blow it around, right? Shorten the poles, it can go higher, but I like it a little shorter to the ground. Now we have a four man tent, not that I really plan on using it, but some places they won't let you just park and sleep in your van, right? Even at a campsite, unless you get the RV site, but they can be able to get a tent site, which is quite a bit cheaper. Just throw a tent up, get sleep in the van. It's a left good shelter. Portable stove, supplies, lots of room for supplies, fire extinguisher, crank battery, I mean uh, radio, LED lights, nice big bed. Underneath we got the uh, storage with all the Coffee maker, cutting board, plates, frying pans, cups, pots, all that good stuff. I also think I'll be able to slide uh, the tent underneath the bed because it folds up round. And over here we got the, just like a privacy tent and I can use for my porta potty. I got bags and toilet paper and whatnot inside here. This lid goes on. Pail. And away we go. You can also, uh, well, it might be short to hook a shower in there, but just shower outside. So that'll work good. And I got this topper for the van. stores a lot of stuff which is great once again I'll take one of the electric heaters don't need them both in case I have power then we got the butane heater buddy in case it gets cool got a hot plate electric hot plate once again if I got shore power and just emergency supplies we got the air pump 12 volt 120 to 12 volt booster cables tow strap I tend to take more than I really need, but we'll see how it goes. Mattress good to my, I mean, uh, sleeping bag good to like minus 20. Definitely not gonna get that. Got machete supplies, extra blankets. I think it's gonna be good. Install the curtains across, cross rods. And there's one that goes across the back. Built the, uh, blacked out the windows on the back here and also the side windows it can it's velcroed it can come out but uh, I'll leave them in for now I mean I don't really need to see out there and in the front we got the cooler which is running on 12 volts it's actually running right now my backup batteries and we got the solar panel, it's a uh, 75 watt, which I can basically charge the batteries while even driving. I'm just gonna leave it on the dash. We got the Garmin navigation. We got the camera, I'm gonna install another one on the other side. 4K camera, so I can record the trip nicely.
nozzle supply, CD player. Uh, we got the monitor, not that I really need to look at it, but just to, so I know that it's on. And then uh, underneath, there's lots of storage. I'm gonna have a lot of dry goods, you see, a lot of food, dry goods. And these uh, these uh, containers from the dollar store. Lots of room for food under there. And uh, the two drawers here is a nightstand for red clothing. Maybe you can hang some up, shirts or something. I'm heading out on Saturday. Everybody knows. Just wrap up a few loose ends. But it's all coming together. Follow me on the trip. Should be interesting. <laughs>